through tonight's today's action 18 fights set for this cage and we are kicking off with Nekruz Yakubov from Tajikistan in the blue corner taking on Viktor Gunnarsson from Iceland in the red corner this a landmark year for IMF 10 years 20 22 will mark 10 years of IMAF tournaments and each and every year the bar gets higher. We are now welcoming 421 athletes from 56 nations to this tournament. So we are set and ready, both athletes within the cage. Nekruz Yakubov from Tajikistan in the blue corner taking on Viktor. Gunnarsson from Iceland in the red corner. Steely look from Viktor across the cage at his opponent. Nekruz from Tajikistan. Tajikistan, a real standout in the, uh, the Euros over in Kazan. That was their first taste of these tournaments. Claimed two gold medals. Huge underdogs, but they surprised everybody with the performances they put in. And off we go, scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Gunnarsson in the red corner, Yakubov in the blue. Oh, they meet in the middle. Shots defended there by Victor. Oh, he's jumped for the submission. He's in on that neck, that is deep. A nice adjustment, back to the feet they go. Drop and roll. Look at the pace they are starting this tournament with. I said anticipated. There is nobody anticipated this, this tournament more than the athletes. They have been itching to get going, to get their chance to uh, test themselves against some of the best amateurs in the world. Neku is really working hard to try and get this takedown. Victor doing very well dealing with that, but nice little trip. And now Nekruz finally, finally establishes that side control. Just 60 seconds in, and wow, barely caught my breath. What an opening, what a start to this opening bout here. Short shots coming in from this side, and we saw from the Tajeki fighters over in Kazan, very heavy grappling style. The Necruz looks, oh, he's trying to maintain that position. Look at the throw there, but he's not in on that properly. This could be a big mistake. Victor could take his back. Victor trying to isolate that arm, he's got that Kimura grip. Oh, rolls him over, takes the back again. Just one hook, that near side hook in. Now he has the second one. Really good position here from the scramble from Victor Gunnarsson. From Ice. Oh, that could be under the chin. Victor Gunnarsson looking to claim victory here in the first round. Can he get it done? Wow, good survival instincts there from Nekruz Yakubov. That looked deep, but he squirmed and wriggled his way out of that submission, and now he's reversed the position completely. 45 seconds left in this opening round. Now, has that top position. You can see Victor there looking across to his corner, taking some instruction. And really both giving each other hell in there. Position for position. And now finishing strong on top is Nekruz. Nice end to the round for the Tajeki fighter, but let's not forget he was in some se oh he was in some serious trouble. That rear naked choke looked to be deep under the chin. No survival instincts kicked in. He squirmed, wriggled separated then got back into that top position what a start here the pace both of them set out you have to 
take into account. This is, this is a huge tournament for both these young men. The biggest spotlight they've stood under. They have to manage all the nerves, all the anticipation. Everything that comes before, even just getting to the tournament. And we have 421 athletes here with us competing. And that is, despite the restrictions, we've had a number of pullouts. Then also, via the medicals, the weigh-ins, the fighters coming in out as well. So to still have that amount of athletes set, ready to compete, a phenomenal achievement and testament to the uh, infrastructure that the UAE has delivered here for this tournament. Set for round number two here. A few extra seconds of oxygen bought there by the, uh, the Tajeki corner. Off we go again. Yakubov, blue corner, Tajikistan, Gunasan, red corner, Iceland. I mean, you can see there's slightly more laboured shots there. Certainly, you talk about the, the adrenaline, the pace of that first round. Gunasan seems to be wearing that, and Yakubov back in on this double leg. Now working his way around to the back. Oh, nice work there. Now he's already wrapped up that right leg of Gunnarsson. Gunnarsson looking to threaten with that Kimura, but this is a, a tough spot, a good spot, though, for Yakubov. Still maintaining that back position. One hook, great find round that right leg. Gunnarsson has done well to get back to his feet. Trying to turn back into his man there, but as soon as he does, Yakubov reattaches. And again, takes Gunnarsson back down to the mat. A much stronger start in the round here from uh, the Tajikistan fighter, Yakubov. And you can hear the Tajiki team here chanting Nekru's behind me. And they really were not just a standout for the performances in the cage, but. Oh, this is nice work. Nekru's maybe looking for the finish here. The referees, the referees called it. The referees called it. My goodness, what a performance from that young man. And I just think that first round, the pace of it, really wore on Victor Gunnarsson. But Nekru's maintained his attacks. That grappling position, particularly from the back against the cage. He was able to take down Gunnarsson a number of times and then the culminative shots coming in <sighs> was all the referee needed to stop it we have our first victory in cage number one here day number one at the IMF World Championships and that victory belongs to Tajikistan we'll have a look at back here and just in round number two even when you saw them on the feet they, there was less pop in the shots coming from Ganasin. then you had that driving takedown and finally, this top position. Very, very strong outing and impressive performance from that young man. A big smile on his face. And the first victory for Tajikistan here at the World Championships. And there you get a little look at the arena. We are here at the UAE Jiu-Jitsu Arena in Abu Dhabi. What a beautiful... What a beautiful arena. Again, we look at the highlights back here. And what a way to start the tournament. Phenomenal, and Gunnarsson was deep on this. And he also had the rear naked choke attempt in round number one. For the young man from Tajikistan. Super impressive on his debut here.
Next up, we will see Germany take on Kyrgyzstan. We will have David Helke. Helkisev taking on Elda Almesaitov from Kyrgyzstan. What a moment for that young man. Nekruz Yakubov 